In this video, we are going to deploy our application to the internet. So let's get started. When it comes to deployment, we have different services providers. And if you have worked with the API development section of this course, we have deployed the backend API to render. In this video, we are going to deploy our front end also to different services provider, and that is Netlify. So let's search for Netlify. Then let's click on this link, or better still, you can go to netlify.com. Next step is let's create an account by clicking on sign up and make sure that you sign up with GitHub because this one will make our life easier. And I have already signed up and it has taken me to my dashboard. For me, I have a couple of projects I have already deployed. Next step is that we need to push our code to Netlify. So as we did for the API development, we need to prepare our project for deployment. When I say preparing the project, it simply means that we are going to secure all the sensitive data that we don't want to expose to the outside world. And for this application, we don't have any sensitive data. And inside the base URL, in production, we don't have access to the local URL. And for this, we are going to use our deployed API as we did under the API section. If you are working with the front end only, I'll provide the base URL, which is this. So I'll copy this and here I'll paste that. And I'll make use of const and base URL. It's supposed to be const base URL is equal to that. Put it inside quote as that. And I need to add API forward slash version one as that. So now I can comment this one out. So when I save this one, it's going to use the deployed API instead of the local one. So if I refresh the application, let's have a look as you can see it still worked we have all the products in our application because now we are sourcing the base url from our live endpoint so the next step is that we need to push this one to github all right so let's continue in the next video